So I'm here with Mark, the owner of GTRV Vans, and he's gonna show us around this fully decked out, completed Mercedes Metris camper van. Yeah, so here we have a 2019 Mercedes Metris. This started out as a cargo van. We've done a complete conversion. We call this the Westie. He comes with a cabinet system on the driver's side. We have lots of storage for your valuables. We have a stove. We have a sink. This, the stove runs off propane. We have a propane tank underneath the vehicle that powers the, pro, the, the, the stove. It also powers uh, as an option. We have a furnace and we have an optional hot water heater as well. Uh, you have water, you have water at the sink. We have cold and hot water with the hot water heater. Yeah, so this is a, uh, a two-way refrigerator. This just runs off your battery, your 12 volts off your battery. And when you plug into short power, it automatically switches over to 110. There's a freezer compartment as well. It's like a little, like a trucker fridge, right? I think that's what exactly. they, yeah. On the bed system, we have a nice deep, deep drawer. We also have a pass through so that you can have long items like two by fours or skis, ski poles, that sort of thing. This is your vent for your furnace. Um, we also have curtains on all the windows, even the front windows, all of the, the side windows and the rear windows, uh, so you have complete privacy. So the bed pulls out like this. You have a nice 75 inch bed, about 48 inches wide. It's almost a full, right? Yeah, yeah. So this, this, this seating system comes with three-point harness seat belts as well as headrests. It's right back up when you need it to. We also have available swivel seats. Um, come standard with the passenger and as a driver as an option. Electrically, when you're plugged into short power, you have some 110 outlets available here, right here and also in the back. Um, you have power points and a USB right here and also in the back uh, when you need that. There's an inverter option. Yeah, you can, this one you can definitely wire this into an inverter instead so you can have 110 when you're off the grid. Uh, this, this particular van has, here's your furnace control. This is your, this is old, uh, run the furnace as well as that operate as a thermostat. This is your solar charge controller. So this regulates your voltage and your current coming off of your solar panel into your battery. What's the size of the solar panel on the roof now? The solar panel we're running right now is 160 watts. All of our catches are stainless steel positive latches. You're not going to have doors come open on you. A lot of our storage uses the timbre door systems, which is a really efficient use of, of space. You don't have doors opening into the small volume and it looks, uh, it looks good. Let me show you our pop top. Pretty effortless. Yeah, yeah. So you just push up, uh, goes up on its own. Uh, we have screen windows on the sides and a, a plastic window on the front for light. This particular 
So you have a full bunk up here. It can also stack. So you have lots of standing room when you're, you know, to change clothes or to do your kitchen um, cooking. You have a fan as an option. Safety features, we have a carbon monoxide detector and a propane detector and a smoke detector up here. We have lots of options for storage in the back. You can configure it this way in case you have a lot of vertical storage. You need uh, large suitcases and that sort of thing. Or you can lay the deck back down. Keep your storage underneath or maybe up on top as well. This is our mechanicals cabinet. This is, we have an 11 gallon fresh water tank. Uh, up in the cabinet below the, or next to the sink, we have a four and a half gallon gray water tank as well. This is where we keep our, our 12 volt pump for your water supply. This, we also have here a on-demand water heater and a shower. That's a shower option as well. This is also where we would store the batteries. In this case, because of the water heater, we have the batteries back tucked up under the cabinet. You said that Bruce is 200 and so this is one of our battery options. This is two six volts. It gives us 224 amp hours of storage. So our cabinets are all made out of solid core shop grade plywood. Um, maple or birch and then we laminate onto this this light rig color or color of your choice. Thanks again, Mark, for taking the time to show us around that completed Mercedes Metris conversion. That one definitely had a lot of the bells and whistles. It was one of the higher packages that you can get with them. Pretty much had everything that they offer for the most part. And it was really cool getting the chance to see it. If you haven't heard of GTRV, definitely recommend checking them out. I'm going to put a link in the description below to their website. Those of you that have been following along will know that they did the pop top on my NV200 camper conversion as well that I've been living out of full time for the past six months here. And I've been really happy with it so far. They do a lot of different vans. The NV200s, like I said, they work on Transits and Promasters and obviously the Mercedes Metris and, and quite a few different other ones as well that they offer. So they do some really good work, guys. They've been in business for a long time, over 20 years at this point, and they definitely have the whole camper conversion process down to a science. Like I said, it was pretty neat to be able to finally see one of their fully converted Metris camper vans there. You know, we had been talking about shooting this video for a couple of months at this point, but they just didn't quite have one that had everything that they offered and really kind of showcased what GTRV can do. And I mean, that thing is really just like a little miniature RV for the most part. It's all kind of tucked in there really nicely. Like I said, they've been doing this for a long time. So it makes sense that they would know how to maximize storage space and know how to fit everything in there comfortably and still make it a really comfortable, you know, camper to be able to travel in or even live out of full time. I mean, I'm sure you could if you wanted to. It's uh, pretty awesome what they, what they were able to do with it. And the Metris is a little bit bigger than my van. It's, it's not, you know, it's a couple of feet extra of storage space inside there compared to the NV200 and they really make those extra two feet or so matter, you know, like you can, you can tell it makes it so that like this is really open floor plan and just really, really comfortable. And uh, just the features that they have, I mean, the shower system, the, the stove, and then the, you know, the, the sink and everything like that, just all built into the counter space. It, it's kind of giving me ideas of things that I want to do to kind of make my conversion a little bit better in here. And like I said, it was just really, really cool to be able to, uh, to be able to finally check it out and to shoot this video. I really enjoyed it. Like I said, be sure to check out GTRV. There's a link in the description below to their website. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all in the next video.
Can't even jump in jacks. Do everything else though. 